So your teacher has assigned you an essay and you're ready to get started. Let's take a look. Moon Tiger Mystery. In her poem, The Moon Tiger, Denise Levertov employs a tone of intrigue to introduce a mysterious animal. But what is the moon tiger really? Using evidence from the text, explain the real and true identity of this cryptic creature. It needs to be 300 words. It needs an engaging hook, a concise thesis statement. I need to quote the poem, analyze it in my own words, wrap it up with a closing statement. Okay. I think we can pull this off. Let's see how S.A. Pop can help us out. To get started, we'll go here to short essay, and this will take you to the basic writing frame boxes. This forms the basis of the essay pop writing method. You can see that each box has its own individual responsibility. We have the hook, the thesis, the research, the interpretation, and the closer. Once written, these will form an excellent essay but we need to know which goes in each of these boxes, and that's what we're here to tell you about right now. So let's go back and look. The teacher wants us to analyze this short poem called Moon Tiger by Denise Levertov. Okay, and going to my prompt, what is the moon tiger really? Hmm. Let's take a look at the poem. The moon tiger, in the room here, it came in. It is prowling sleekly under and over the twin beds. See its small head, silver smooth. Hear the pad of its large feet. Look, its white stripes in the light that slid through the jalousies. It is sniffing our clothes. Its cold nose nudges our bodies. The beds are narrow, but I'm coming in with you. Okay, let's see what we can do with this. One might presume that the first thing you would write in an essay of this sort would be the hook. After all, it is the first frame in the lineup, but actually we encourage you to start with your thesis. The thesis is your laser focus. It is what your essay is about, and that's why it's important to get that down first. It doesn't need to be long, one or two sentences, but it does need to mirror the prompt of the essay provided, and it does need to be concise. Here's what I came up with for my essay. A careful reading of the evidence shows that in her poem, Moon Tiger, Denise Levertov deliberately provides the reader with some cryptic clues that if studied carefully, reveal the true and the literal identity of the work's mysterious tiger. You can see it does mirror the prompt. It's short, it's concise, and it tells me what I'm going to do in my essay. One nice thing about essay pop is we do have sentence builders. And these builders give you many different ways that you might start your thesis. In fact, every frame has these, but these are specific for the thesis itself. They're very helpful if you get stuck. So start with your thesis first and move on from there. Once you've completed your thesis, then you can move on to your hook. The hook begins the essay, it's the first frame, and think of this as a conversation starter, a way to engage your reader. It doesn't have to be long, but it does need to be interesting enough where the reader is going to want to read the rest of the essay. Here's what I came up with for this Moon Tiger mystery essay. It seems that poets and authors take great delight in camouflaging their real themes and thoughts with strange symbols and figurative trickery. It becomes the critic's task to analyze these sometimes inscrutable clues to get to the bottom of the writer's real intentions. Literary critics are like detectives in a way. So it's conversational. I'm trying to start a, start a conversation with my reader, um, making a comparison between them and perhaps a detective. So I think it's adequate and it does transition nicely into my thesis. Now, one thing about essay pop that is helpful is we have through this icon here, help cards. So if you want to look at different examples of different strategies, we provide them for you right here in the sidebar. You can also go to this drop down menu and you can go to our manual, which goes into more detail 
about the different types of hooks that are available and even analyzes them a bit. So that's a nice option as well. Hooks are really important. They get your reader in the mood to read your essay. And without them, frankly, the essay sounds a bit incomplete. Once the hook and the thesis have been established, you can then move on to providing some sort of proof to prove your point or your argument. That is what the research frame is for. Remember, in this essay, it's asking me to use evidence from the text to explain the true identity of the moon tiger. So in this situation, I will use a quote from the poem itself. Now, the research box can be used for statistics, proof, anecdotes, any kind of evidence. But again, for this one, I'm going to be using a quote from the text. Consider the following line from the poem as the speaker announces, look, it's white stripes in the light that slid through the jalousies. So now that I have this proof, I will go on later in my interpretation box to explain what that all means. But I need my research first. That is the text evidence that the teacher so dearly wants. Now, I've got a couple things that can help me out here. As always, I can go to my help icon and I can look at different examples here and here. I can also go to my drop down curtain and find different ways to start or frame my research. Also very helpful. Again, in an era where so many essays are asking for text evidence, the research frame becomes a critical element of the essay. So you've written your hook, your thesis, and your research, and now you're ready to move on in your essay. Typically, the next part would be your interpretation, the purple box here. Now, this is where you, the writer, are going to be explaining things to the reader. You're going to be making sense of your point or your argument. And in fact, if you look at the criteria over here, it says, quoted text should be thoroughly analyzed in the essayist's own words. And in fact, if you don't have something in your own words, in your essay, well then it's not really your essay, is it? So let's get into it. The interpretation in this situation is going to be me analyzing the lines from the poem that I put in my research. This is what I came up with. The evidence is clear. Levertov is inviting us to pay close attention to a very specific clue, the white stripes coming through the room's blinds. It is a physical fact that Moonlight becomes separated into lines that are projected onto the floor when they pass through louvered blinds, jalousies in this case. The speaker in the room seems to be a child who observes these lines of moonlight slowly traveling across her room. She imagines that they are the stripes of a tiger prowling sleekly across the room. Everything else in the poem, the small head, the large feet, the prowling, the sniffing, is all imagined by the child. The moon tiger is very simply the creation of a child's overactive imagination and nothing else. Typically, the interpretation is the longest part of a short response like this, and it, it is your opportunity to elaborate and to explain things. As always, if you're having trouble, you can always go to the help icon here and find explanations, examples, and models, which are helpful. You can also go down to the pull down curtain and dial up different starters if you're stuck. I can't emphasize enough how important the interpretation is. You've finished all the elements of your essay. Well, almost. You have your hook, your thesis, your research, your interpretation. Now you just have to wrap the thing up. We call this the closer. It's the yellow box. If you look at the criteria, it says the response should be wrapped up with a closing statement. And that's what this is for. It doesn't have to be long, but it does need to make the essay feel finished. Here's what I came up with. Without question, then, it seems that Denise Levertov's clever use of cryptic language serves to describe something that is really all too common. Moonlight in a kid's room. Case closed.
feels finished, short and sweet, and it does let the reader know that the essay is finished. And as always, if you need help, you can go to the help icon here and get some models, some explanations, and without a doubt, you can always go to the drop down curtain for some starters. My essay is done. I'm very happy. I'm very proud of myself. I've got an awesome hook, a thesis that's concise, solid research, interpretation in my own words, and I wrapped everything up with a closer. But it should be noted that there's a few other things that Essay Pop does that will be very helpful to you. For example, look up here. I only have 268 words out of 300. I want to make it to my minimum word count. One very simple way to do that is go to this icon here and add an element to your essay. I'll add a research detail. In this particular essay, I might add another line from the poem and analyze it further. That's going to get me to my word count for sure. Another thing you can do with Essay Pop is you can move the elements around. So sometimes essay writers will want to start with their interpretation right after their thesis and then get into their research. That's easily done by moving the frames. If you want to preview your essay, you hit the eyeball icon, and that is going to bring up your essay in MLA format and color coded. The color coding indicates, for example, the hook in blue, the thesis in red, and so on. You can always turn the color off if you wish. And from this view, you can go ahead and print it and turn it into your teacher. Or if you prefer, you can convert your document to a Google Doc, which is very handy. That's basically it. That's a short response essay written in Essay Pop. As you can see, it's not difficult to do. And if you follow these steps, if you use these frames, if you use our help system, you are going to be writing amazing essays in no time.